Is this a good time of the year when you think three games in a week are going to do the same next week as well in terms of practice ratio to game playing? Yeah, I, I never thought about it at all. I just know we play tonight against Vegas, and uh, it's going to be a real good game. We're excited to play them. I thought last year at playoff time, uh, their speed through the middle was as good as anybody in hockey, and uh, we expect the same tonight. So it should be a fun game. What lesson can we learn from the performance in Pittsburgh and how you've had success on the road to translate it to yeah. at home? Well, to be honest with you, pretty much the same performances we had against Dallas is uh, we dominated territory. We got the puck to the net. Just, I mean, I think. The puck was in right now on the road. I think we're about 16% in the shooting department versus nine or something, or six on the road. So uh, as much as uh, it looks like we have done nothing at home, that's not the case at all. We've actually played some good games. Wasn't very happy with the Calgary game and didn't think we played good against St. Louis. Other than that, I've liked their games and we just keep on steady on the rudder, keep doing what we're doing. The social media changed the way coaches can now coach or the way people run teams. You look at what happened in Ottawa. Like well, I think... It's no different than your life. We're all totally aware. Anytime someone says to you, this is off the record, nothing is off the record in your life. So let's get that straight. The second thing is everywhere you go, there's someone taking your picture or cameras on, and you know that as well. You can call it an invasion of privacy, sure, but is that not what we all live with every single day? So I don't know how this is any different than anything I'm doing living right here. So to me, we all know that. That's part of the job. But what really matters is the people that sit at your kitchen table. It's what they think. The rest is kind of overrated. A few words about uh, Joe Fenville today. Good man. I imagine those slopes in Denver are going to get worn out. You know, he's a good friend, good coach, three cups. Uh, he's he's going to go in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Uh, I don't know what else you say about him. If he wants to work, he'll work. Mike, we saw Nas uh, spraying Kasperi for a kind of breakaway with that flip pass. How dangerous can that play be for you guys with Kasperi's speed this season? Well, I just think if you look at the league, the league's up so tight on you now. Everyone talks about entries and stuff like that. Uh, three quarters of the time, there's no entry because people are on top of you so hard, so the space is behind people. But, uh, you know, good D-zone coverage, real good pop by Gardner into Naz, and then Naz made the play with speed off the puck. Uh, you know, it works better for the guys who skate good. Heartwarming for you last night to see uh, Brian Bowles for a hat trick. Mike uh, Hockey Fights Cancer. Well, I was watching the game, and so, I mean, it was unbelievable, you know. So, uh, uh, good guy, you know, and obviously any anybody who's, I lost my mom to cancer. Anybody who's been involved in cancer knows when you get cancer, your whole family gets cancer. It scares the crap out of you. And not only does it scare you after you're, or while it's going on, even when they tell you you're cured, it scares you for the rest of your life. Every time you get a little, you don't feel the same way. It's it's a scary, scary thing. I know that I'm involved very close with the Children's Hospital. The people over there are spectacular. We've made lots of advancement in that area. And, it, you know, I just pray to God that no one has to experience it.